we run out of camera light at about 7.45. And that just happened. That's exciting. Let's see what time it is. It's 7.35. Light breaks and the sun wakes up and the birds start singing their songs. Sitting right here next to my dad since I could barely walk. He taught me to track to be quiet and still runs in my blood, it's in my veins. An addiction, an obsession, enough to drive us all insane. We trust in friends and our family, God and our country. Faith in the Bible, land of the free, is who I want to be. For the thrill of the hunt, hey, we're always in love. Sometimes it's our salvation. That's why we're proudly a part of the a donation. Ooh, the donation. The donation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Well, it's hard to believe, but it's season three, episode one. Where are we heading this first week? So this week, we're headed to Christian County, Kentucky for our opening day of the season, and I'm excited. When is it? Uh, September the 1st. That sounds pretty hot. It is hot, but we've been practicing all summer, waiting on this day, and it's finally here, and we got to go. Let's load it up and go. Let's get there. Here we go. Brett and I are out here shooting today, getting ready for the season. We've had these bows for about a month now. We're shooting the Bear Approach this year. I got the new Trophy Ridge 5 pin sight, the React. Uh, dialed in real easy. We've just been trying to get a lot of repetition in before the season starts, just to make sure we're ready when that big, big buck walks out. But as you can see from our decoys, we typically take the horns off because we shoot a lot of does, so we don't want any pressure out here on the range. So going after that big velvet. Stacking them in there. So Brad and I just got everything loaded. We got a trailer full this morning. We're headed to Kentucky. Uh, it's opening day up there, September the 1st. So Brad and I are going up there to get out to a big velvet buck. Uh, one of the most stressful things is just making sure you got everything. We haven't been in a tree this year, so uh, just make sure we double check our list. I got a bow, I got a release, I got some broadheads, so I should be good to go. So, uh, we're going to double check his list one more time, then we're going to shut this door and we're going to hit the road. We just pulled up in camp, Southern Whitetail Outfitters in Kentucky, and I'm already excited. Just coming down the roads, seeing all the rolling hills and corn and peas and, and beans, and man, that's, that's exciting. That's something you don't see in Alabama, so let's go figure out what's going on. So we just got in camp today. Uh, I figured we'd take a few minutes to come out here sling a few hours just to make sure everything's still on make sure we still feel comfortable before we get out in the, in the woods and it's go time so maybe we can hit something Doesn't look like we bumped the scope any, so see him still be on. Let's see what this turkey is. That 
turkeys at 28. Let's see if that 30 yard pin's on. We're shooting the Trophy Ridge 5 pin react. It's a sweet sight. I mean, we've had, it was so easy to set up. Uh, you do your 20 and your 30 and everything else just fell in line perfect. So if you're looking for a sight, that's a, that's a good sight. A dead turkey. Make sure you get that shot on camera. That was pretty. It's almost like I meant to do that. Let's see what that deer is. That deer is 38 yards. I'm gonna sling one out there at 38. That's a dead turkey. It's a ten ringer right there. We got five days up here to get it done, and can't wait. Can't wait to get in the stand. First set of the year. It's my birthday, so maybe it all comes together. Auburn Oaks Farm is located just 15 minutes from Auburn University. We offer 600 meticulously maintained acres for you to enjoy. Our exciting amenities include wing shooting such as guided quail hunts, pheasant tower shoots, dove and turkey hunting. Come experience our brand new sporting glaze course and five stands. Our event clubhouse is a gorgeous new venue to host weddings and events. Call Auburn Oaks today to schedule a time to have the ultimate outdoor experience or visit us online at auburnoaksfarm.com. Uneven floors can be fixed. The AFS Settle Stop Floor Support System can handle loads exceeding 50,000 pounds, permanently stabilizing floors and walls, giving you peace of mind and protecting the value of your home. AFS, a Bayless company. Ever dreamed of a smoker the way you want it? Salt and Pepper Custom Grills and Smokers, custom made to your specifications right here in Huntsville. Ours are made of thick, heavy-duty materials and pull-behinds on extremely strong trailers to pull anywhere. Plus, we sell premier portable buildings best for the money. And we offer dog kennels and greenhouses and backyard adventures, the number one play sets in America. Check us out on Facebook or call us at Salt and Pepper Custom Grills and Smokers, 755-0013-250 Jones Valley Drive. Whatever they went through, they went through together. Welcome, guys. Life well planned. See what a Raymond James financial advisor can do for you. All right, guys, so we're about to head back out for our third evening sit. I got a feeling we're gonna see deer today. Something about it, I just got a feeling it's gonna happen tonight, so I'm super excited. Just uh, can't wait to get in the tree. We're trying to get dressed, get everything packed up. And they got a hundred things to take to the stand, but we're gonna get after them today.
That's what we're looking for this afternoon. Now where they gonna come out is going to be anywhere between 20 and 30 yards. So if they'll come out of that wood line, maybe a good 30 yard shot. That's right in my range. So it would be good if they all got wood line. He's at least two inches between the ears. That's Bone and Crockett. He's a good foot and a half long. They're pretty mouth. We've seen a lot of activity. We've seen a groundhog, we've seen turkey, we've seen some small deer, a bunch of does. We're just not seeing the right deer. We're not seeing any shooters. I'm pretty sure this hot weather has got them coming out late. So we're just gonna have to sit in here and stick it out. everybody you know we're here and our, it's the third day here in Kentucky and I just gotta be real honest with you it's been tough uh, the deer movement's real slow you know we knew it was gonna be high but you know until you get out there and you got all your gear on and you're actually sitting in a tree or like last night we were sitting in the ground blind it's just it's hot uh, yesterday was a long day we sat in the tree stand well we sat in the ground blind for about four or five hours and we didn't even see a deer yesterday. And just talking to the guys here in camp, you know, we got seven other hunters and kind of getting some education from them on what they're seeing and just trying to put a game plan together. Talking with Hunter this morning, we're, we're going to change to a different farm this afternoon. It's about 45 minutes down the road. So we're going to stay with it, uh, stay positive, ready to put this double cross in a deer and get that done and let an arrow fly. But, we're still excited, love Kentucky, it is beautiful. Southern Whitetail Outfitters have done a phenomenal job with us in camp. The food's excellent. A lot of great camaraderie around here, a lot of great guys uh, having a blast, but at the end of the day, we want to put a deer down. So uh, we're going to stick with it. Y'all stay with us. Record Rack is more than just deer feed. It's about raising the next generation to respect and love the great outdoors. It's passing on the wisdom that feeding all year long will attract and keep healthier deer around. It's about the excitement on opening day, knowing that all their hard work is about to pay off. It's about seeing the huge smile on their face as that monster buck appears and they harvest their first Record Rack. Looking to buy or sell property or that special place to build your dream home? From residential 
to recreational, from timberland to farmland, we handle it all. Let us help you find that quiet place at the end of the dirt road. I'm Tim Baker with Southeastern Land Group. Give me a call. At Sprays Jewelers in Fayetteville, we understand that sometimes you need to come home with more than just dinner. Whether it's a birthday, anniversary, holiday, or even a get into the woods free card, we're the Sportsman's Jewelry Connection. Sprays Jewelers prides themselves on top quality diamonds, gemstones, and quality jewelry repair. And they've been known to spend some time in the woods as well. So come see us at Sprays Jewelers, named Lincoln County's finest jeweler the past 11 years. 1822B Huntsville Highway in Fayetteville. Live life at full draw. Instead of ordering archery supplies from a big box store and trying to get help from a computer, do business with guys that really hunt and will talk directly with you. Full Draw Archery offers over 20,000 items on their website with same-day shipping. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Keith. Experience you can trust. And we answer the phone, text, and email. Shop Full Draw Archery HSV.com for crossbows, arrows, clothing, broadheads, and personal service. Full Draw Archery HSV.com. I did not think that was going to happen. It happened so perfect because all the does were staring at him. I had a chance to stand on you. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Love you, bro. Oh, man, you too. First Kentucky buck. First Kentucky buck. What's up, What's going on? What's up, man? We're going to need the truck for this one. Oh, you really think got one, huh? Really got one. Pretty good shot? Yeah, uh, he's down in the field. Shot a little oh. high quarter and weight, knocked him down. We put another arrow in him, okay. but I think it's gonna be the hard horn buck y'all showed us. Sweet, dude. That's freaking awful, man. Yeah. All right, well, we gonna pack up all our stuff. We may run out here and take a look at him. He's 30 yards from us right now with a glowing luminox stuck in him. That's, that's freaking awful, dude. All right, buddy. I shot his corner and away from him. Hit him right there and went up in here. Yeah. And dropped him right here on the ground. I put one more air in him to take him on out. But yeah, good deal. So here he is. He dropped right in the field. No track job. Just a beautiful eight point. Uh, little outside he is. Got a good wide rack on him. Man, couldn't be happier. He come in, circled those does. Gave me a great quarter away shot. The bear did his job. Uh, the NAP crossfire found his mark. No track job. That's the way we like them. Here we go. One, two, three. Here he did. What do you think I did, Wade?
180. How close was it? Five pounds up? 180. That may be the heaviest deer I've ever killed. <laughs> Ain't no joke. So looking back over this hunt, now that we've had a little time to take it in, you know, we feel like there's three things that made us successful in this hunt. The first one is absolutely patience. I mean, I told you that it was hot. It was 93 degrees. We spent a lot of time sitting in stands. I think we probably had 20 to 24 hours in the stand. And when it's that hot, I mean, it'd be easy just to say, hey, I'm not going in until five o'clock and I'm coming out at eight but we were able to stick with it. The second thing would be persistence. I mean, we stayed after it. I mean, we could have took an evening off to kind of regroup, but man, we're pushing in the stand every day around two o'clock, just staying after it. And the third thing would be education. You know, Hunter and Chase and Brett and I, we dug through a lot of pictures to find a buck that was moving early enough to have good camera light. So uh, we got on this buck, we knew he was moving early. There were a couple of nights, we seen some bucks, but it was just, it was after film light. So just knowing which one we could get on to make sure we got the job done. So you take those three things, put them all together. That's what made our hunt successful. So here he is guys, my first Kentucky whitetail. Couldn't be more proud of him. Big thanks to Hunter and Jenna at Southern Whitetail Outfitters. I mean, just a first class place. Great food, great fellowship, and obviously great deer hunting. So y'all give them a like on Facebook. Go out and check out their website, southernwhitetailoutfitters.com. Cracks in your brick or walls and doors and windows that are out of alignment could mean foundation problems. The AFS Settle Stop Peering System is designed by engineers to permanently support your home, giving you peace of mind. AFS, a Bayless company. Hi, I'm Bo Brooks, and when I'm not out in the field, I'm in my office here in Huntsville behind Chick-fil-A on Weisberg Drive. Bo Brooks State Farm was number one in the state of Alabama for life insurance in 2018 and also qualified for Chairman Circle. That puts us in the top 3% of all State Farm agents nationwide. So I would love to be your agent. We are proud to receive the Best in Business Award. Look me up at bowbrooksinsurance.com or give me a call. I tell you this Jeep is great for advertising, but it's terrible for hiding in the woods. Since 2006, Continental Roofing has served our great community. Continental is local, licensed, and insured. An accredited member of the BBB, they have earned an a rating, serving thousands of you. Continental has earned the Master Elite status with GAF, one of the finest and oldest roofing manufacturers in the country. GAF Master Elite companies must adhere to stringent standards. For quality value and superior customer service, Continental Roofing is on top of it. If you're a contractor working in the North Alabama or Middle Tennessee area, Action Concrete Cutting wants your business. And we're locally owned and operated. Whether you're cutting floor slabs, walls, control joints, or asphalt, let Action Concrete Cutting handle all your concrete and asphalt cutting. Call 852-3202. Action Concrete Cutting also does core drilling projects, large or small. Action Concrete Cutting can drill from 3 quarters of an inch to 24 inches in diameter. For all your cutting and core drilling needs, call 852-3202. Hey, I want to talk to you today about your language. Believe it or not, your language can absolutely destroy your testimony. Years ago, I had traveled with a friend out of state, and when we arrived in hunting camp, we decided to get a little B-roll footage, as we call it. And so we were filming the sign and the lodge and uh, getting some shots of me warming up with my bow, making sure it was still uh, dialed in. When all of a sudden, the owner of the lodge came out of the, out of the building and began to use some extremely foul language with the person that he was speaking with on the phone. We finally had to stop filming because his language was so corrupt. And this is what God's Word says. God's Word says in Ephesians, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification. You may not think about it a whole lot, but the language that you use, it really reveals what's in your heart. And men, I want to speak to you in particular. If you wouldn't want your children being spoken to 
by someone else with the language that you use, then maybe you ought to not be using that language yourself. Instead, God's Word says that any language that comes out of our mouth, it ought to not be corrupt, but rather it ought to be for edifying, that is, for building up. And so I want to encourage you today, make sure that your language, whether you're in church or whether you're in a hunting camp or on a fishing boat, is building others up for the glory of the Lord. This is the Hunting Grace segment. I'm Joe Bufford, and thanks for watching Donation. Welcome to this week's Ministry Minute. That's a pretty nice buck, Steve. Man, that was a good buck for me. So he was 180 pounds. Once we got him all dean boned up, he was about 50 pounds. That's cubed up in the cooler, ready to head south. Packed, ready to go. It's coming home with us. And we know what to do with it when we get home. That's right. So that goes directly back into our community through the food pantries that we serve. And man, we couldn't be more excited. That's a great start to the that's season. Right. And that's what Donation Outdoors is all about. There's a ministry side, and that's the side where we push the meat back to the community to help those who are in need. So you figure a one pound pack of hamburger mm -hmm. feeds about three people. So you're looking at about 150 people that that deer right there is gonna reach right here in our hometown. That makes you feel good. We even tried to get on a doe that yeah. last day. Oh, we got close. Yeah. We ran out of light, yeah. ran out of camera light. I think about 20 more minutes and we could have had a little bit more meat, but nevertheless, yes, we're moving the needle. That's a great start. Great start. We got some more trips coming up too. We do. Because we don't even start in Alabama till October the 15th. That's right. So, good way to move the needle. Good start for Donation Outdoors. Y'all stay tuned. We'll see you next week. Donation Outdoors is being brought to you in part by these fine sponsors. 53 Farm and Hardware. Locally owned and operated, located in Ardmore, Alabama. Summit RV Suites. Huntsville's premier RV storage facility. Wildlife Management Solutions, proven wildlife seed. Hunter Safety Systems, saving lives is what we do. Haynes Vinyl Graphics, window tinting, vehicle wraps, fleet graphics, signs and banners. Simple Hain, stop screwing around, available at Full Draw Archery. A special thanks to our participating deer processors. Streets Processing, give them a like on Facebook. Danny Schmidt Deer Processing, Deer Processing and Skull Mounds. Hey Donation fans, like what you see? Follow our dads on Instagram, Facebook, and they also have a website, donation.tv. Donation.